Morning guys, YouTube people everywhere. Anyway, I'm gonna go on a little rant while I'm cleaning up some crap. Um just gonna clean up some tools. <clears throat> um wanna talk about this uh tuner slash emissions crap the EPA is trying to pull. Um or that they did pull about no more tuning. No more off-road, no more race-only parts, tuning, all that junk. Um, I don't know, I was talking to my wife about it. We were out shopping, I was picking up the bumpers and everything. And uh, I was telling her, it's like, you know, if you make... So basically, like my truck, I got HS Tuner. Um, HS tuner, I got the Banks Monster Ram Air, whatever, elbow, I got the air intake, I got exhaust, I have all this stuff for the truck, and I, ha I have all the stock emission stuff too, so, um, when I do have to do emissions, um, I just put it all back on, um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so, I think... Well, actually, no. I know my truck runs a lot cooler, cleaner, and more efficient. So I use less fuel, um, which, you know, less diesel. Um, it runs cooler and more efficient, so therefore it's less fuel. It's, it's basically a better package. So I don't get why. I understand these kids and whoever rolling coal and doing all this stuff but you know out here they got carb compliant C-A-R-B I don't remember what it stands for but it's California whatever it's <clears throat> some stupid California compliant stuff so like my banks air intake the air filter and everything that's carb legal California legal so you can have that to make it breathe better and everything but uh I don't know. I don't know if someone needs to do some testing out there or some backlashing for the EPA and let them know that um, your oil changes can last longer with running it the way, basically the way I have it set up is my oil changes can last a lot longer so it's a lot less oil I'm using, a lot less consumption, a lot less diesel fuel I'm using because I'm getting around town about 19.4 miles to the gallon in that truck whereas with all my stuff I'm getting I was getting about 14 13 miles to the gallon around town and about 18 something on the highway and with all this stuff I'm getting I think I'll, uh, when I came out here from Colorado on the highway I was getting about 24 miles to the gallon um, with it deleted so you know they need to look at the the big picture. I understand they're seeing all the <clears throat> all the people rolling coal, and I understand they see that. Um, but you know the a vast majority of the people that are doing the tuning and stuff and and modifying their diesel engines are basically doing it for efficiency to make it run more efficient, less fuel obviously because diesel fuel is expensive. So everybody's doing it to so it costs cheaper in the bottom line and they're using less so if they look at the whole big picture so you have a truck a whatever truck so these engines the way that they're designing them right now with the EGR with all this crap that's on them that's choking them out those engines are lasting like 150,000 miles so within that 150,000 miles I haven't done I haven't done any research, I haven't done any math, this is just what I'm seeing. 150,000 miles, they're using let's say a third more fuel than if they were deleted. So that's a third more. So if they're using I don't know 10,000 gallons of fuel in that 150,000 miles, you know, they're using another 300 or uh, 3,000 gallons of fuel uh, being non-deleted. 
So let's just say, you know, 10,000, a third of that is 33,333, whatever, whatever. So they're using that much more fuel, not to mention the oil they're using because now their oil is just jet black. So the oil they're using, the fuel they're using, um, and then by the time it hits 150, let's even go 200,000 miles, the engine's junk because you got all the carbon buildup, you got blow by. So then you got blow by happening. The blow by supposedly going back in, but the blow by is going back in and still going out out the tailpipe so that's just more oil you're burning out the tailpipe you know because your blow by goes into your crankcase filter that goes into your turbo goes back into the engine goes back out the exhaust pipe so you're just blowing oil instead of it running efficient and running with the rings the way they're supposed to be running you're just blowing oil out the tailpipe so and when it's deleted as you guys know you're getting rid of all that so it just it's burning once and dumping out the exhaust instead of burning two three times and dumping oil and everything else out the exhaust so if you're just dumping fuel out the exhaust you know uh, you know burn fuel it's no big deal but now you're burning oil so then your oil gets on your catalytic converter so that's trash it gets on your DPF your diesel particulate filter so that's trash so now you gotta go and buy those, and that stuff's expensive. And maybe this is where they're getting at. All that stuff's expensive, and that stuff's, you know, toxic to the environment. So, um, you know, somebody's just not doing the research or something, but um, but on top of that, when your motor's bad, so like my 2012 Ram, I bought it with a seized motor. And the motor was seized because of the whole EGR system, exhaust gas recirculating system, was just completely plugged up. The diesel particulate filter was plugged. The cats, two cats were plugged. Um, I ended up sourcing a used set from a guy, which I guarantee he's probably wishing he never would have sold me or gave me. Um, <clears throat> but I had the stock stuff and I had it cleaned. So I had it cleaned, and I ended up selling that stuff to another guy who moved to California. But anyway, <clears throat> the moral of the story is, is has somebody needs to make, maybe Gail Banks, maybe somebody from Thoroughbred Diesel, or just somebody big, you know, obviously bigger than me. Because, you know, my 30 views that I'm going to get on this video is not going to do nothing, but maybe somebody can send it their way. Because I'm sure they're pretty upset. PPEI, um, EFI Live, pretty sure they're mad. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know, um, this DEF, the DEF, I don't really, that's just stupid in, in its own thing. <clears throat> but having all this emission stuff on these diesels, it's all just money for somebody in the politics um but they can make a video basically breaking down how much how much stuff is used um you know fuel oil and just waste like uh engines being thrown in the in the dump or scrap all that stuff um i don't know i would like for gail banks to do it but i still don't, i just don't think they'll listen because you know they're they're one-way people. They don't like to hear people. They don't like to hear themselves. Um, you know, there's a saying, God gave you two ears and one mouth, so you should listen twice as much as you talk, um, which I wish a lot of people would do. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to go on that little rant about it because <clears throat> now I'm, uh, I'm probably going to end up selling my truck. Um, I'm going to... Go to Colorado, put all my emissions crap back on it, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'm probably going to end up selling it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, um, I do have to do a couple more things to it, and then I'll sell it. And uh, I don't know what I'll buy. I won't buy another gas truck. Um, maybe I'll buy another little uh, eco diesel or something. And just leave it all stock, but then again, it's 
still has EGR crap all over it. It's got all the filters, basically everything to choke it up and to make it run hot. And that's the other thing too about the EGR system is it just you're just making it hotter. Like these trucks run at 207 to 212 degrees. Like I don't know why because um, you know once once you get to 212 degrees, it's too hard to cool it back down. So that's why I put a 195 degree thermostat in my truck. And I can drive my truck up hills, down hills, towing whatever, and it never gets to, to operating temperature. It's another reason why my uh, miles per gallon is low. But uh, anyway, that's a different video. Um, but anyway, just wanted to go on that little rant. Just keep seeing all these little uh, Instagram posts, all these videos about uh, how the diesel world's dead. I don't think it's dead. I don't want it to be dead, but um, maybe you little punk kids, I keep rolling coal. Maybe you guys need to back off and quit rolling coal and <clears throat> out there. Or, uh, you know, go somewhere out in the middle of the boonies where nobody's at recording you and roll your coal so anyway that's it guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe dislike whatever you want to do later